Hey everyone, Noah here from Southern Illinois Bow Hunting, and today I am installing a new stereo into my truck. I ended up buying the stereo and all these st all this stuff off Crutchfield, as you can see, and I also got the uh, harness already pre-wired, make it a lot simpler. It was like twenty-five extra dollars, so I thought it was worth it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to install all these. I got new speakers for the rear, and those are going to be a pain in the butt because I'm going to have to end up taking the back seats out. And then I got the two fronts, and then obviously the stereo. So let's get to it. Okay, so to actually get off the, this and get this out of the way, you're going to need to turn the actual key on, push on the brakes, and then... Okay, just do that. And then get it all the way down, and then you can turn the key off, and then you got to end up taking it off because it's going to be... You have to have that off before you can take this out okay so after you get off this you got um, the headlight cables here that you need to do and the cargo lamp cables uh, and you need to undo those before you can actually take this out of the way to where you can get to this I know. I was home. I've got this out now. I gotta unplug this and then this. I've got a part back here that he didn't put in right here, so I'm gonna do that real quick. So here's that part. I'm gonna have two cubby holes things now. It's not the right size. Unless it goes all the way in. Oh, it does. That's the way in. These are all standard anyway. Huh? Those are all usually standard anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean that could have just plugged it in? Uh, it's just an extension. They probably wouldn't need it, honestly. Alright, I'll just put it in anyways. Don't matter. Actually, it is a little shorter. This one's tinier than this one, so it wouldn't have fit. Oh, is it? Yeah. Right, here's the uh, Sony radio. I decided it's the DSX A415 Bluetooth. It has the extra bass and obviously that iPod USB, but I ain't really worried about that because I'm just going to use the Bluetooth. Uh, but yeah, uh, I also got the Sony speakers so I could have that extra bass will actually work. Ooh, I got a remote. I don't think I'll ever use this remote, but I got one. The hair part. CD. Oh yeah, look at that. So cool. So it locks into here like this, because automatically from here and here. But what do you say? You gotta put it in like this and you just gotta actually it might be the other way around. Hey. No, I should slide in. Oh. Yeah, you're right. There you go. I don't know if it bolts in or how it just really stuck it bolts in. Oh yeah, it has to bolt in something I thought, but maybe maybe it don't. And maybe it just locks in. It's not, it's not going any farther, yeah, so it's gotta keep something's gotta keep it from coming back in. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. Okay, and here is the already spliced together wire, so all I gotta do pretty much is plug this into the factory, plug it into here, and then plug this back into the new radio and it is much simpler than not having to deal with this yourself. All right, so now we've got the actual radio, like the holder harness area ready to go. So all I gotta do is run these wires pretty much through here. That way we can plug it in and snap it into place when it's done. It's just because this truck's old. Okay, now just gotta plug this into. Is it the blue one? I think. Yeah, 
That's audio out, I think. That's the antenna. It's the ant. Wait. Oh. Right here. Right in there. Well, it doesn't stick in there very good. There it goes. And that's why we plug it back in to make sure it's all good when we're done. It's this way. I guess it's in there. Pushed it pretty good. Eat all this junk back in here. There we go. She's in. that way. Why is it a little wobbly? Oh, it would suck as it. Oh, there it goes. It's 1 a.m. The function is source. Out. There you go. It's on tuner. Oh, crap, the speakers. But... And before that, I see that our feedback just of uh, is the resource. Seems like it works. Cool. Okay, now I gotta do this again. I gotta turn it on. I gotta push on the brake, bring it all the way down. Turn it off because I don't want the radio to play. And then you gotta make sure you plug these. I don't know why it does that every single time it turns off. It's kind of annoying, not gonna lie. Then you gotta make sure you gotta plug all your lights and crap back in. Because if you don't, well, you're gonna be screwed. You have to put it back in again. You have to put that back in again. So make sure everything's all popped into place. Now plug the cargo light back in. So maybe, maybe it'll work after that. Or you just pops off because I break it. Everything's on. Lights work. Right. Now I just gotta push everything back in. Still bounces a little bit right there, but it ain't bad. It's cheap plastic. Alright, so to for the back, you have to actually take out the back seat to get all these panels off to get to these rears that are right back in here, and I'll give you a closer look at that in just a second. But um, the rear speakers are four by sixes, and I've heard that you could put six by nines in there, but you have to do some trimming, but I wasn't doing any trimming, so I decided to find the specific four by sixes. And to save yourself some time and a lot of hassle, just go ahead and get yourself the GM speaker harness so you don't have to splice wires. It just makes it a lot simpler. All right, so your rear speakers are right here behind this, and behind this, but apparently to get it off, you gotta actually take off the whole, like all this crap, all of it in this, including the seat. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and get to doing that. So hopefully I can get it out and get the speakers installed. All right, so I think I got it back far enough. I'm gonna end up pushing this through here, and then I think I got it out far enough to where I can install that. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to take that one, install it, leave it, take that one off, install it, and then leave everything out behind here. Then I'll go to the front, do that side and that side. That way I can turn it on and see if I've got everything that I need. 
and make sure it sounds good before I actually decide to put all this crap back in it and say, oh, it doesn't work anymore. So, uh, yeah, let me get to that and let's get to putting it in. All right, with some time and anger, finally got that out. So now let's go ahead and start the Sony and get the Sonys put in. All right, so get your speaker harness right here, and obviously you can see right here that they're two different sizes, so you don't have to worry about mixing up the positive and negatives. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back here and plug them onto their respective places, and then I'm gonna stick them in, and then I'm gonna tighten it up. And like I said, I'm gonna leave this out, and I'm gonna do the other side, and that way, if they don't work or one of them screws up, I can go ahead and, uh, take them back out, return them or whatever. Okay, so I gotta change the plans because these uh, adapters don't fit for the rears for some unknown reason, I guess, and they have a different one that I didn't know about, but those are the type of connectors that we have, and that is not going to fit. So I'm going to end up, or that has ended up, I can't really see him over there with the light, but he's going to splice the wires, something I didn't want to do, but we got to do what we got to do. But I do believe that these ones will fit for the front because it does say 95. I mean, I'm just going to have two extras if, you know, something ever happens. But anyways, while he's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and get to the driver's side front and I'm going to get to working on that. Uh, uh, the speaker out, which is just shouldn't be too hard. Yes, I'm bleeding. I bleed everywhere. But anyways, uh, it already looks like it has some sort of aftermarket uh, speaker. So, um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get that out. I'm gonna put the Sony in there and make it make it a lot simpler. Idiots, look at this. What the heck kind of job is that? All right, so we got the one Sony speaker back in, and it's actually wired up to where it's actually decent now. We're still trying to get this one off because they, I don't know what the crap they did in that one, but we're going to go over there. There it goes, finally. Lord have mercy. Anyways, we'll get that off and then we'll get that speaker too. Alright, so here are my clips. I'm going to get these clips put in all these areas. See, he drilled into there. But I'm going to put all these clips and we'll put them in there. And then everything should stick on its own. Crossing fingers. But the other speaker's getting done now, and then afterwards I can show you guys what it all sounds like. Alright, so I got this side on. I'm going to get this, but I'm not going to put this on because I'm afraid I'll snap them. But I'll put this on after I put that back together to see if um, the windows roll up. And if they roll up just fine, then I'll put these on and everything will be perfect. And then we will be done. This turned out way more than I anticipated. Um, I am exhausted. It is about 9.30 probably. I have to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning to go to work. And I am beat. Luckily I should have enough sleep. But I'll give you a little taste of the radio. I can't play too long because, you know, copyright. But there's the radio. It's turning on. It's so much better. I'm so happy with the outcome of this. But anyways, this has been the video. Um, as you can see, I finally got the little trim piece that likes to pop out still. But I got the trim piece here, and everything is actually good to go. I'm excited. 
But anyways, guys, this has been the video. If you guys did enjoy this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos coming to you soon. And I'll see you guys in the next one.